Hi, thanks for joining me for today's devotion. We're looking at Ecclesiastes chapter 5. Whoever loves money never has enough. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with their income. When God gives someone wealth and possessions and the ability to enjoy them, to accept their lot and be happy in their toil, this is a gift of God. They seldom reflect on the days of their life because God keeps them occupied with gladness of heart. You would think that if a person gets something they want, they'll be satisfied. And we know very well by experience that this isn't true. Think of the child who begs and begs for a birthday present and gets it, and then gets tired of it in a few days and wants something else. It's true for all of us, and today's re reading reminds us of one of the clearest examples, money. Whoever loves money never has enough. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with their income. Money itself isn't the problem. Money is a good gift from God. The problem comes in when we start treating money like it is our God. Like if we just had more money, our life would be easy. Our problems would fade away. We could finally enjoy life. Then we could have that mansion on the lake, that car we've always wanted, that dream vacation. You can love money all day long, along with all the things money can buy, but none of these things is ever going to love you back. The problem isn't with money. The problem is with you and me. Whatever it is we have in our sinful nature, we always want something else, something more, something we don't have. But what are we supposed to do about it? I mean, with great effort, we may be able to change sinful behavior, but how can we change sinful desires? If we try to satisfy them, they just grow. And if we try to wish them away, they don't go anywhere. We can't fix our greedy desires, but the Lord already has. The same Lord who warns us against greed in today's passage is the Lord who sent his son to the cross to break us free. Now in word and sacrament, he woos us back into his good graces with treasure far greater than any other, his love. And now in the loving arms of our Savior, we can truly appreciate everything else in our life for the gift that it is. It's like our verse says, God gives wealth and possessions and the ability to enjoy them. Greed comes naturally to you and me and every sinner. In contrast to that, See the rich generosity of our Savior Jesus. He has paid for us all. In him, greed's grip is broken. Fellow redeemed sinner, let the Lord's love alone be your treasure. It's like the psalmist says, take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. See you next time.